until we got back from the store, I knew all. Sorry about that sound, it's muted. It's pretty weird. Sorry about the volume turned down. Let me try to fix that. Your mum and your dad say things Sorry. to you that are really awful. Yeah. It makes me feel like I mean nothing to them. Like, I'll drop a cup of water, and she'll be like, are you stupid? Are you an idiot? What is your problem? And I'll be like, it was an accident. She's like, your whole life is an accident. I think it's a two-way street here. I think Desiree's got to recognise the importance of making better decisions so that she can earn her parents' trust. But at the same time, her parents can't hold grudge forever. to fix the internet. Are you still in love with this man? I love him, but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm in love with him. Then what do you do? Just coexist under one roof? And does it just continue to get worse and worse? What, what happens? Eventually we'll split. She's desperately wanting things to change, but doesn't know how to do that. And her family are being sacrificed. Jared, I'm actually going to make a move. I'm going to go home so that I can get back ASAP. I'm coming back tomorrow morning to talk to this family about the issues that I feel desperately need to be resolved. And I don't think this family are going to like what they're going to hear. Right before the family meeting, I was very nervous. Good morning. I didn't know if she was going to come after me with a sledgehammer or what was going to go down. There are certainly some issues that need to be addressed with regards to Desiree. Trust is a big, big, big issue. She knows she's messed up, but she doesn't feel like she's being given a chance to regain back your trust. Mm -hmm. She's lied to me enough where it's difficult for me to trust her. But how does she put it right if she's not going to be given the chance to put it right? By not allowing Sorry for shaky camera. To you that she can be trusted. You're closing the door on a critical time for her as a pre-teenager. I want to talk about you guys being out in public yesterday because, God, what a shambles. There is no discipline. There's no expectations. There's no rules. You've got to let these kids know where they stand. Okay, this is what I'm, you know, expected to behave like. And if I don't, this is what's going to happen. How are they even going to know what discipline's all about? Just hoping they grow out of it, I guess. Excuse me? I said we're hoping they grow out of it, I guess. That is the most pathetic, pathetic excuse I have heard all year. So it's just so ignorant and immature of you, considering you are a father of three children and a husband. That attitude is going to get you nowhere. I would like to talk about the turmoil between the pair of you when it comes to making a decision. I was gobsmacked that I spent 45 minutes in this house waiting for a little three-year-old to put some socks and shoes on and get out of the house. You saying put them on, and then you say no, leave them. I mean, what, how are she working together in that situation? Didn't. Why? I feel like she's bringing a lot of attention. She's, she's trying to... You get frustrated because I keep saying the same thing over and over and nobody does what I'm saying. And then you start to threat. I mean, I've got a list here. When I break your teeth, it isn't going to be so funny. I'm going to karate chop you in your lip. Hurry up and get inside or the police will come and get you. There's a man over there who takes little boys who don't listen to their parents. He takes them into the kitchen, chops them up and cooks them and eats them. I find it disgraceful, quite frankly. 
simply is not okay for you to talk to your children the way you think you can talk to them because you are their parents. Gerald, a little bit of gratitude instead of affection in the house goes a long way, doesn't it? When was the last time you even felt appreciated? I can't remember. When somebody does things around the house and just normal everyday things for you to have to be patting them on the back all the time it's just unrealistic i mean if if she's not happy with me if she'd like me to go i mean excuse me i will go that's your answer isn't that's it? my answer so you would rather walk out the door than recognize what your wife is needing from you you sit in your throne like you're entitled to have your wife cook clean, take care of you, raise your three children, because all the things that you should be doing as a man, and I say as a man, because you would know the difference between a boy and a man, you're not doing. You need to grow up, because right now, I don't see a man's attitude at this table. As the dress, you just shrug off your ego from your shoulders and really listen to what I'm asking you here. There's a lot of work to be done here. I expect 100% commitment. So are you both in or out? I'm in. I'm in. Thank you. Thank you. I felt like I landed.